and welcome back everyone to another Cut Above with Chris and I've just finished off my face shave with the Mule R41 with the Vascot blade and now I'm about to touch my hair up with it as well got about 8 days growth on here, I haven't trimmed it, I haven't um, used a clipper or anything on it so that is literally 8 days of growth um, so I'm just going to get stuck in I put pre-shave on, on my face shave video at the start of it so it's still nice and soft, I'm just going to add a touch of water not a lot, just a little dab. And today I'm using my Bob Quinn Burl and Resin with the high mountain white knot on there. It's a 25mm knot with a 50mm loft. Beautiful brush. I'm using the Wickham's 1912 Russian leather. So I'm just going to give my brush another little dip in the water and just re reload the brush. Because obviously I used it all up on my face. Touch of water there. So you guys all the people all well, you guys have probably watched my videos now. And to all you new guys that this is the first video you've watched. Wickham's 1912 is in my opinion the best soap out there just now. I've obviously uh, that's based on what I've tried. I've tried another few artisan soaps. Uh, but this stuff is really top draw. And from putting that Ebb and Jag Appreciate on, the cool sensation when the, when the cream hits your head, when the ladder hits your head, it's unbelievable. It's sort of interesting to see how the shave goes, considering I haven't trimmed this down a bit. It is pretty long. But in terms of being able to use a brush, uh, a razor, this is probably the best one to use because it's got quite a, quite an open comb on it. It's a closed comb, but it's quite open. So there's lots of area there for the for the shaving cream to get through, for the lather to get through. So here we go. First pass. I just thought I'd do a full stroke here just to see how it went, but because it's not a feather blade. It's never going to whip it all off quite so easily. But I tell you what, it's just plowing through that here. It's, I mean, that is it's smooth. It's too small a word for how comfortable it is. I couldn't actually. Couldn't describe how comfortable this blade is. It's just glide. It doesn't even feel like it's cutting here. It is that smooth. For those of you that caught my last head shave video, that's why I've left it so long. I actually nicked my head over here on a part of my head where I have no hair growing at all, and it was quite a deep nick. So it's, um, but it was. It wasn't because of the really. Well, it was because of the razor, but it was more user error than anything else. I just got a bit lazy at the end of my shave. Um, lost a bit of concentration and unfortunately when you've got a very sharp razor blade on your head that's what happens but using all the allen blocks and I mean the stick tape gel that I've got the Prorasso stick tape gel I actually went and got that out of my giveaway pack because <laughs> it's it was quite a bad nick Yes, I don't think I've actually got any cream on that part of my head. Any lather, so... I mean, one thing's for sure when you're obviously when you're shaving your head, Blades don't last as long. I mean, I can feel already that this blade just it's starting to sort of lose its edge. And I've only just sort of started shaving it. And I've, all I've done is three passes on my face, two of which didn't really do anything other than shave pretty much smooth skin. And obviously the longer your hair is in your head, 
the harder it's going to be to sort of chop through it. But it's certainly, it's actually blocked it up a little bit there. I'm just going to loosen that off. to be expected. One thing I find with this R41 is it doesn't have a tremendous amount of feedback, audio feedback. Obviously this, I can hear it quite comfortably, I don't know how it sounds with the camera, but it's nothing like the Redwind Jagger. Or even the Parker 99R. So far, so good. I've got no irritation. I've got no nicks or cuts. I haven't felt any at least. Hopefully, I haven't jinxed myself. I normally get the odd little one here and there, but considering I'm using this super aggressive razor, I do quite well with it. And I do find my the skin in your head shaves a lot easier than the skin in your face. It's a lot tougher. And I don't know if that's because the wear and tear from the sun and not having sunscreen on for years. I really don't know what it is. You know something, I should really, I should really turn around when I'm doing this so you can actually see what's going on, see how that works. So when I'm doing the back of my head, I just sort of feel as I go along. I hope you can still hear me, I'll try and boost the volume a bit in the video when I put it on. I just try to go along, feel as I'm going. So I'm catching most of the hair. On my first pass, it's never a, I'm never too worried about getting everything because I go against the grain in my second pass. Generally, that picks up everything else. So I'm very happy with that. There's not much left on yet. I'm just going to empty this bowl of water out because it's absolutely chockers full of hair. Just give my head a bit of a rinse. Just give it a quick dab there and I'm just going to out the last sort of little dregs of the shaving soap and stuck back in again. And this shaving soap, once again, the smell is beautiful. The slickness is incredible. And it really does an amazing job. It really does. Oh, 
Alright, so the Mueller R41 with the bass stopped blade against the grain. No irritation, really smooth. And I can tell you right now, guys, I don't even need to feel my head at the moment, but that is pretty damn close to BBS, if not BBS already. I mean, as you can see, yeah, nothing. I'm not really sure you can do back this time, I haven't done this before, so... Now I do always encounter a little bit, just on the back, I do always encounter a little bit of juddering. I don't know if it's because there's always a bit more hair on the back after my first pass. But like I keep saying, I don't really get, I get no irritation. I could do it all day. So I hope this is, is that getting on the camera? Yeah, yeah it is, yeah. That's a good second pass then. I'm actually just going to give it a quick third pass. Because it's not quite as close as you get with a feather blade. I've not actually nicked myself here. It's just a block spot. I thought I'd got over the spot syndrome from when I was a kid. Just loads of loads of lather left in this brush. I keep going about it, but it's the best soap, as far as I'm concerned. I'm just going to just give this a quick touch up again. By quick, I mean very quick, because there's not much left on there. So 
I'm just going to treat this one as a bit more of a more of a touch up pass than anything else because there's not too much left on there. I'm just going to empty out the brush. I've got a couple of little bits just floating around. Bloody soap it really. Yeah, I'm really happy with that guys. That was a really smooth shave today. Face and head. And as you can see with my face, I haven't touched this up since my face shave. I've got no weepers, nothing at all, no irritation. shaving that, I'll tell you that for nothing. And if I hadn't told you already, Wickham soaps is tremendous. As you can see on the back there as well. I'm hoping you can see nothing. Oh, it's just it's not feeling like that, you know, it's like just amazing. So with my head, I did the tears in my face. I'm just going to pop a bit of the Cool Fix on from Shaveworks. Say it every time, if you haven't got stuff, get it. It's absolutely brilliant, you don't need much, tiny little spot. All over, get a beautiful little tingle from it. It's hardly, oh God, there's hardly any irritation today. Just finish the rest of it on my face. Now I would normally, believe it or not, I would normally finish off with a with a cold rinse on my head, like I did with my face, but I'm using the Cool Fix by Shaveworks. I prefer to use it with my pores open um, because there any irritation, there's any, anything going on there at all. I don't know what's in this stuff, but it seems to really heal up any rash, any irritation that you're going to get at all. It just heals it up really, really well. So it's just great stuff. So I'm just going to finish off the full shave, which I said in my face shave, Imperial Leather, just to finish off the, the Russian Leather. And something I learned from the Suffolk Shaver, Stephen, 
just put your finger over the tip the whole bit because these these things you do lose a lot of stuff if you don't actually stop it from pouring out Woo, beautiful oh yeah oh fuck i love it just had to throw a bit of a swear word in there guys that's just brilliant yes what a cracking sunday shave so look, um, thanks again guys for tuning in, that's my head shave done for the week again, and as you can see, it don't come much better than that, uh, Mueller R41 with the Bob Quinn Resin and Bull Custom Brush, I'm out in white, 25mm, 50mm loft, and good old 1912 Russian leather, really, really cracking stuff, and just while I remember, I did start my shave off at the very beginning of my last video, with the Edwin Jagger pre-shave on my head just to keep the keep the old whiskers on the head a little bit softer and it worked a treat but this razor guys if you have not got an R41 it's, to me it's not an aggressive razor I don't know whether it's I've got good technique for it I really don't know but I find this the, one of the smooth well it's the smoothest shave I've got it really is I've had three different blades in it the Feather, the Astra oh I've had four the Derby and now the, the Bascot and I can't speak highly enough about it. What an amazing razor. Um, as much as my I love my Edwin Jagger DE89, I think this will be replacing it very shortly. Quicker shave, closer shave, no irritation. And what more do you want from a shave? Anyway guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, please like and subscribe to the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, and obviously if there's anyone out there that you know that's into wet shaving and wants to get into it, please pass them on. Um, there's myself, the Suffolk Shaver, Kevy Shaves, there's a few guys out there that I'm sort of, I keep in touch with a bit. Obviously Paul H films, but I don't think he needs any more subscribers, but I'm sure he would say no to them. Anyway, have a good weekend, or what's left of it, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks again.